The first layer helps you fall asleep quickly. When you're depressed, where do you want to go? You need simple blood tests to check for liver problems. We live in a world driven by advertising. Patients are coming in saying, I want this medicine and this medicine only. A pill for every ache and pain. That drug companies are putting ads on television, on magazines, and in the newspapers, pushing the new and different medicines. When it comes to our health, doctors say being bombarded with promises of a pain and symptom-free life can be dangerous. Often, if it's appropriate, we talk about it. But sometimes, when it's not appropriate, it's hard to convince them out of the drug. Problem is, some say few doctors stick around to have the tough and sometimes awkward conversation. Dr. Ann Payne Johnson says it's a different school of thought in what she calls old school medicine and modern medicine. The older doctors, but the older practice methods um, are that a patient hurts, you give them pain medicine. Payne Johnson says newer physicians, like herself, focus on the health of the patient over time instead of instant relief that comes with popping pills. We start with the patients. We start educating patients on what medications really are for and what happens to them when they stay on them for a long time. They can cause liver problems, kidney problems, addiction. Carmen and Kia, a pharmacist, says people forget about the side effects of medications and the consequences of mixing two or more medications. Even though their medications are either prescription or over the counter, someone approved them, you're still giving yourself something that is not normally part of your body. And Kia says her hands aren't the only things working when she fills prescriptions. She also has to keep her eyes open for people attempting to abuse the system. When patients abuse medications, a lot of things can happen. You can either become psychologically or mentally addicted to the medication or physically addicted to the medication. Hydrocodone will be prescribed for back pain, and it's hard to determine if someone is really having back pain or not. It's also tough to tell if patients are following the doctor's orders once they are granted the goods. That need to, quote, feel better leads some people into taking a prescription cocktail. A patient has, say, a heart disease, diabetes, emphysema, and they see four or five doctors. Each doctor gives them two or three medicines. By the end of it, they begin to have 15, 20 medicines. The patient has back pain. Well, you can't just give, keep giving them pain medicine. Get to the bottom of it and get them fixed. So instead of requesting the latest medication on the market from your doctor, Experts suggest trying to take a real look at the causes of the problem and then trying to treat it with things like physical therapy, having a more active lifestyle, losing weight, and quitting smoking if you smoke. Doctors say that all of these can cut back on depression, anxiety, high blood pressure, pain, and the many conditions we sometimes search for a pill to remedy.